What's up everybody, Lion's Crown here, coming to you today with how to Sephiroth. Keep in mind, this is not a combo video. I'm going to be going over the kind of mentality you want to have when playing this character. Because there's, there's a lot of people I'm reading online having a lot of trouble feeling like he's just not a good character. Like he's just not effective. And honestly, it's not true. So I want to show you guys what you're doing wrong. Because it's the same thing that I was doing wrong. You're playing him wrong. You're trying to play Smash Brothers. You're trying to play Fox, Mario, Bowser. You're trying to play Krom. You're trying to play Cloud, right? You're trying to go in, be cool, be super aggressive. Sephiroth is not that character. Sephiroth begs to plan and be manipulative and control everything. You have to be one step ahead of your opponent. Now, I know you might think that that's any character in the game, right? It's even more so with Sephiroth. I will say that Sephiroth is not an easy character to pick up, but if you love him the way that I do, and you want to commit to the character the way that I do, you need to learn, first off, to time your aerials. Some tips for that, you want a short hop or full hop, but I like to short hop a lot with him, because I think it's quick and it's safe, and you want to change your right stick from smash attack to tilt. The timing, I like to count until it becomes second nature. You're gonna go one, two, one, two. So jump, oh, jump, stick, jump, stick, tap, stick, tap, stick. That counting down will help you to never miss two, one, two. Sure, you can do it immediately and miss short characters, right? But if you, if you count it, you won't miss. If you count it, one, two, you'll hit the shorter characters. You will hit the shorter characters like this. One, two, right? So that's how you want to space around. The reason why I think it's effective to put it on the right stick for tilt attacks is because this, this allows me to jump all the way back while continuing to keep the pressure, right? Like that. It's extremely effective, it's safe, and it puts a lot of pressure on your, on your opponent to try to come into you. This is important because Sephiroth's worst matchups are going to be the characters like Fox, are going to be the char it's going to be the rushdown characters. The rushdown characters that you face up against, these opponents are going to be the ones that threaten you the most. So try to time those aerials perfectly. Secondly, you really want to drop your forward tilts out a lot. So you want to use your your tilt your forward tilt attacks, you want to angle them if you, if you can, right? You want to throw out your aerials. You want to Oh, look at this guy. You want to make sure that you can do your aerials out, you back up, you do your tilts. Especially if you get your tilt right in the middle at a medium range, that wasn't it. It will hit much harder around here, I believe. Even then. There you go. It hits very hard and it kills if you time it perfectly. It also It's also a kill move at higher percentages if you get it at the tip, the middle to the tip. You want to keep on doing that at all times. It's going to save you a lot of stress if you can just help to zone out that way. Your most important zoning move in neutral is going to be your side B. This doesn't mean you run into his face and do it unless you know you can grab it, right? But landing to side B is going to put so much pressure on your opponent. So much pressure because it forces them to act, right? They know that if they hang back and try to shield it, you can come and pop the shield with the down smash and you get a free kill by holding your supernova all the way, right? So they know that they can't just ignore this. They are forced to act. At some point in time, they have to air dodge. At some point in time, they have to shield. And this allows you to act and take advantage of that. So this is a moment where you get to get more aggressive, right? So you're poking, you're poking, you're tilting, you land this, bam. Suddenly, you're tilting, they're off stage. What are they gonna do off stage? If it hits them, that's almost always confirmed to get you to kill. A lot of times, even if they have a jump. So if you can't get to kill, your goal really is just to keep them off stage or just catch them for damage. Here's an example of what I mean. Here you'll see me use the up air alongside the oars to get a whopping 32% of damage. It's insane the kind of setups you can get just by the side B pressure alone. And here I use the orbs and kept them off the stage because I saw an opportunity to secure the kill at an earlier percent. Here you'll see that with only two orbs on him, I managed to hit a shield with a wake up attack and break it, which is insane to me. That allowed me to hit him with a forward smash and secure the stock. 
Just as a quick tip, I killed Ganon at 72%, a heavy, because I took a step back and landed the smash attack right in the critical spot. And now let's get into neutral air because neutral air is the move that really, really brings his entire kit together. It has consistency issues. It doesn't always land when it should land. And it's kind of aggravating, uh, right? Look at that. I did not move and you watched it miss and then still land in the next neutral air. Neutral air is inconsistent, but when it lands, it's amazing. Why is that? Because this allows you to get um, early damage combos. I didn't speed fall the second one, but it allows you to get early damage combos, right? Which is absolutely fantastic. But when later on in the match, around a mid percentage, you're not going to get more than two hits off this move. And that's perfectly fine. You know what I'm saying? Sephiroth is not a combo heavy character, so you don't need to get multiple hits off. Also pay attention to the fact that if you want to get a back air in around a mid percent, you want to get the space that comes with reversing, excuse me, and doing a neutral air, because he keeps moving. You'll keep moving, and then you can get a short high back air. But if you just try to do it straight, uh, excuse me, a neutral air right here, you're not going to reach. But if you move as you neutral air, you will reach. So you want to run, turn around, neutral air, and let Sephiroth keep moving with momentum. You can't do it in place. You need the momentum in order to get him. But of course, he's a little too high for that now, right? So it's going to be a mid percent move. Um, but yeah, neutral air out of shield is amazing. You want to constantly block and pop with it. Block and pop with it. Block and pop with it. This is going to constantly make sure that you can get your keep yourself protected and get them off your back. And when it comes to neutral B, more important than throwing out your neutral B, use it to fake. You want to throw it out from a distance here and there just to put pressure. Sometimes somebody will make a mistake as they're recovering, right? And instead of coming back safely, they get hit by it, which would be great. But for example, but even if they don't, you want to condition them to you throwing it out. Because what you really want to do is cancel it. You want to charge it, cancel, grab, get them back off stage, keep the pressure going. That's what you want to do. Or you want to do it, cancel, catch their jump as they're trying to jump over it. See how they react. Your neutral B is so much more effective when you cancel it than when you throw it. But you can't keep doing that because then they're going to expect you to cancel. Throw it every now and then, but always be at a distance. That way you're safe to move. See, he dodged it, but I still got to keep him off stage. You want to make sure that you want to do things that way. Be safe. Never use it in somebody's face. It is never worth it, and it's not going to help you out. Unless they do something stupid like that. Keep your space. Keep safe. And keep the mind games going. Just one quick thing that I want to mention about the up smash. It's also, like neutral air, pretty janky right there it I, I did not move kind of like with neutral air guys i did not move and the same animation eventually hits it's extremely extremely aggravating because right now sephiroth's a little broken he's not consistent um, another thing to note is when it comes to throws you can let me try that again you can do a down throw to a back air and that will connect right there you go that's an official combo for 90% damage you can throw him up into an up tilt and that's 23 damage which is not bad you can do that quite a bit as well they can DI to get out of it after like 25 to 30 so pay attention to that but it's gonna be hard to know which way to DI because you have options to get some early damage right you can down throw into forward air or back air forward throw you're not really gonna get much off of um, you could also back throw into back air for an instant 22. I like to up throw first to try to get the 23 damage. You can also try to up throw into a full hop neutral air and see what else you can get going out of that depending on DI. Um, you're really probably not going to get anything other than that, but yeah. Now guys, killing with Sephiroth, it can get tough. It's going to get tough because it's, it's just not as easy. 
Yes, a perfectly timed smash attack will kill. Excuse me, perfectly spaced. And a nice, nicely spaced forward tilt will kill. It'll actually kill, um, I believe, earlier than that. Let's try him at 90. We'll put Fox and let's see how that goes. Uh, one step back. There you go. That's one good tip if you think they're going to wake up on ledge, guys. You stand at the ledge, you flip the stick back one time. You space back once and then you do a tilt. It will get the critical spot. Just a quick tip that I figured out. One more time, right at the edge, space back, critical spot, right? One thing I'd like to note when it comes to uh, Sephiroth's up B, when it, and in terms of killing, is you don't just have to charge it, right? Of course, charging it is going to secure you a kill, but pay attention that you are so vulnerable here that and it, once a good player starts paying attention to you, they're going to see you charging it, and they're just going to block and punish you incredibly hard and it, it, it's going to hurt right but one thing that you can do is angle down and up B into a full hot back air now that I'm not sure if that is actually confirmed to kill but I promise you it secures the kill almost every time I know it doesn't come up on the combo counter but the combo counter isn't always right and I really feel like it actually is a uh, true combo and it just works absolutely fantastically well. And of course, how can we forget the down air at the ledge? One thing to note about the counter, and it's really good, is that as you can see here, if you time it right, you can hit him right between the counter and the attack. So the attack never comes out. If you're ever facing yourself off and he's countering a lot, you can just wait for the whole thing to end or wait for that moment. And also, having a hitbox on a counter is fantastic. Um, we don't have anything like that, only Sephiroth has it. And it really will come in handy more often than you might think. I absolutely forgot to mention the most important thing, which is his one way. Um, this gives you an attack boost, which to me is the least important thing that it gives you. It gives you a speed boost, an insane speed boost. And it gives you the third jump that third jump guys is everything right so you're gonna grab you're gonna throw i can now edge guard better because i have all these extra jumps i can do so much more one thing you can also do is this when you hold up b and if you attack straight up you will send the enemy in the direction that you're facing all right so if i'm in front of him he's gonna go to the right which is super important when it comes to edge guarding because as long as you are by the ledge you're going to send them straight to the right but again you have to make sure that you do it right next to the ledge you can send them straight off the stage and still grab on to the ledge super important but it is super fantastic do not forget it and don't forget to use your jumps to bait out attacks all right bait the attacks out and then you go in for the kill now let's get into some clips that I have for you guys of a couple different things and ways you can use that as well as the armor because when you have the wing out you do get armor on every smash attack. Let me show you guys some examples. Like this one where I do a forward smash well timed, beat Ganon's kick, get him off stage to finish him off with a forward air. Or an armored up smash to catch clouds rising up air. Pay attention here to the speed that I can string these forward airs together because of the one wing. Super freaking effective. I don't want to forget to mention that down smash works especially well against many different characters recoveries. And here's the good old shield read with the Sephiroth down smash into supernova. Never gets old. And if you're not too close to them, you don't have to just use Down Smash, right? You can use Octa Slash when they think they're safe to shield to break it too. And guys, I really like this clip right here because as you can see, I'm actually playing a little bit too aggressive and it isn't working out for me too well. So the moment that I realized that and I reminded myself to play spacey, I control the space, you can see it starts right there. I continue making space with the forward air, I back up and I catch the roll and suddenly I'm in advantage because I chose to take the space and it allowed me to finish off and get the stock. All right, everybody, so let's review the mentality in our neutral and our strategies that we just went over. You want to maintain space. You want a one, two, one, two, jump, stick. Maintain space with your forward air and back airs and don't forget to count and get used to that count 
as you play mid game. It can be a little tough, but you'll get it. You want to make sure that you use your forward tilts, you jump, fake, use your forward tilts, keep them away, build on damage, keep on throwing off the side beam, keep the pressure on them. Off stage, you will get that kill. You can combo off of, the, off of those balls. You want to make sure that you do everything that you can to keep the damage going, keep them off of you. With Sephiroth, you're overall playing the long game. Unless you get a crazy good read at the ledge, all right, at around 60%, and you can kill a medium weight like Falcon right here. Don't forget that your neutral air out of shield is, is extremely good as well as jab out of shield. These are your fastest options out of shield, the only ones that you have. They're not the best, but neutral air, if they're close enough, gets the job done. All right? Don't forget to try to land your neutral airs whenever you can and keep the space going. Only go for the Octa Slash if you feel confident that you've gotten the read or if they put themselves in a landing position where they will get caught. All right? As long as you keep your space with Sephiroth, as long as you keep your distance, you keep dropping those side beats, you keep on landing your pokes, you guy, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine and you're gonna be a great Sephiroth player before you know it. Now guys, I know that at the end of the day, this character is brand new. Everybody has their own play styles. Everybody's gonna play differently and we don't know what optimal play really looks like for Sephiroth, right? But I promise you with all of me, that if you stop trying to play him like he's a rush down character, that if you start controlling your space, you're gonna see a lot more changes in your play and you're gonna see a lot more W's in your results. Take my word for it, go give it a try. Try to change the way you look at his character, change the way you approach the game, change the way you approach a battle. You're gonna see the results will speak for themselves. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the field. And never forget, wear your crown and live your roar.